We've got April makes to show you. Stay tuned. Thanks for coming back guys. I appreciate it. And we're going to talk about what I got up to in April. Um, when I was looking over my list, it felt like I didn't really get much done, but now like kind of in retrospect, I guess it did get quite a bit done. Um, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. I had one, two, three, four, five, six things on my list. And I actually ended up getting six things Four, five, six, getting six things done, but it wasn't the six that I planned. <laughs> the Turner dress that I had planned with the uh, flora on white Liverpool, I got that done. I'll put a pattern art photo in and then I'll put a photo in of my version. I absolutely love it. I had a bit of a, a flubub with it and luckily Karina was there to kind of help me out with that one. Um, I didn't realize it until after I had cut all of the pieces uh, out in fabric that I had cut the EF bodice instead of the CD bodice, which is what I need. I don't need an EF bodice. So anyway, um, needless to say, there was a little bit of extra room in the bust, or I mean, in the bodice, it was mostly underneath the bust at the waistline. So uh, Karina helped me out with that. And basically what she suggested was uh, taking the sides and unpicking them a couple of inches above and a couple of inches below and just kind of bringing that front um, bodice piece and skirt piece in a little bit more. So we, she suggested half an inch, but I probably should have done more. Um, it's really hard for her to see because of course I sent pictures and it's not pictures and in, in person are two different things when it comes to fitting. So, um, but yeah, in retrospect, I could have probably taken it a little bit more, but that's okay. I mean, it, it fits. I really like it. And I think as I continue to lose weight, I should be able to kind of take it in at the sides fairly easily and be able to still wear it for a while. Um, the slim fit raglan I did not get to. Uh, this was mostly due to not being in the mood to trace <laughs> because I needed to retrace all of these patterns in order to sew them up and I just was not feeling it. Um, even though I'm team trace, <laughs> I hate tracing, so I didn't I didn't get that one done. The uh, Layer Me Up shirt from Patterns for Pirates, we'll put pattern art in here, and I had that in the navy jersey, and I'll also put in a photo of me wearing it. Um, I did get that done, and I am so glad I did. I absolutely love the way it came out. This shirt really showed me how much weight I've lost. Um, I mean, I... I it's weird how you don't really, I mean, you know it because your clothes are kind of, you know, baggy or whatever, but until you wear something and it could be whatever, I don't know, but it just kind of like put it in my face. Like, Hey, you really have lost a lot of weight. Um, I put that shirt on and I was like, Holy crap. I have curves. <laughs> it felt so good. I, I was so proud of myself. And I still am proud of myself, um, but I did, I, I felt great in that and I really, really like it a lot. Um, I made my first Layer Me Up shirt, gosh, I can't remember when that was, maybe June of last year. And it was tight and, but I, even then I recognized that I really loved that shirt pattern because I like the way that it fits. Um, but yeah, I love that shirt pattern. And if you haven't tried it, I do recommend, if you like that style of a shirt, if you want something a little bit baggier then the slim fit raglan is perfect for that. But cause it still gives you shape um, without being kind of uh, closer to the body. But yeah, I love it. Um, and I'm looking forward to making some more of those. Let's see here. The Tanya Kulots, refashioning the Tanya Kulots into the Ogden Cami. I didn't get that done. And I did unpick it all, but I didn't get it done because, again, I didn't want to trace out the pattern. Um, again, I, I would have to retrace the whole thing, and I just didn't, I wasn't feeling it. Um, 
the BB skirt from Tilly's book, Stretch. Sorry, I'm just kind of looking at my notes here when I look down. Um, out of the Navy Liverpool fabric, I got that finished and I love it. I'll put pattern art and a photo of my version. Um, I love it. If you watch the Let's Chat video, you will know that um, I've never owned a pencil skirt. I've never tried a pencil skirt on. And I I was amazed, really amazed. I, I really love it. And I'm looking forward to making some more in the future. Uh, the knitting bags that I needed to get done for my friend um, for the quilt show. All those got finished. Um, and she, I got those delivered to her in time, no problem. Um, so yeah, that was a checked, check the box on that one. The quilting show was so exhausting. Um, I'm glad it's over, but I'm also glad that I did it. It was frustrating and fun and crazy and wonderful and rewarding and nerve-wracking all at the same time um, and when it was over I was worn out <laughs> so I'm glad it's over but I'm also glad that I got to participate that's the first one I've ever actually been involved in I've been to quilt shows before but I've never actually been involved and I did enjoy it 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 made me want to drink <laughs> a little bit but um, yeah I did enjoy it and I look forward to being involved in future shows with that um, and I was really inspired uh, after seeing all that. So much so that I came home. <clears throat> sorry, I'm trying to find a place to put all these things. I came home um, and started on my prairie flower quilt, which is on my 2018 Make 9. I'll put a pattern art picture in here for you guys. And um, I finished actually all 20 of the blocks. And um, those are all done. There, it's. I mean, it's a really easy block to put together. And if you follow um, Jenny's tutorial, you will not have any problems whatsoever. <clears throat> so basically what I need to do now is I need to square these up and then measure them and then cut the sashing to the appropriate size. I have the cornerstones cut out so I need to do the sashing and then I can get the quilt top together I have the border fabric and then um, pretty sure I have enough for the binding as well and I'm I don't know do I have the backing I can't remember I think I have backing fabric for that also so yeah I'm well on the way to getting that sorted out and getting that checked off of my make nine list which I'm very happy about um, I added on also one other thing this month. Um, so I added on the Allegro pants by Love Notions and we'll put some pattern art in here for you. Um, I've been wanting to make these pants because they look like, um, like kind of like a, a comfortable warm weather pant. Um, that would be kind of loose, but not like, you know, like you could have a friend in there with you. Um, and a quilting friend gave me uh, this really lovely piece of linen blend. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the composition is, but it's a bit of a slub and it's lighter than this, but it's not a royal. So it's in the navy family, but it's a little bit lighter than this. So I got the pants all made up and everything and tried them on and I really loved how they looked on the front. I made them cropped because I was hoping to wear them with some wedge sandals. I thought it would look really cute. And my husband's going, mm, I don't know about that. And I'm like, what? Cause I'm looking in the mirror like, what are you talking about, man? These look great. Um, and then I reached down to the seat and I grabbed a fistful of extra fabric. So I have all this fabric like right in the back crotch. Um, so I'm going to have to see if I can sort that out because I really would like to save the pants. I think they would be comfortable to wear, um, especially in this heat. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to see if I can't, um, 
just so a deeper crotch curve. Um, I'm going to try basing it first, you know, obviously, so that I don't cut anything before it needs to be cut. And if I can fix them and save them, that'll be great. Um, but yeah, they, um, they weren't as excess, weren't as successful. And I don't have a picture because it was late at night when I was sewing it and it's dark fabric. So you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. Um, but yeah, those were not as successful as I had hoped, but I do hope to save them and at least kind of use them as like transition piece, um, while I'm continuing to lose weight, uh, because they are an elasticated waistband. So yeah, let's see. I think that is it for the April makes. Um, yeah, don't forget to watch the quilt video, uh, the quilt show video and do the bit at the end. You know what I'm talking about. If you watch the whole thing, you know. So that's all for April makes and I will be coming back to you guys really soon with May plans. So thanks so much for watching guys and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, bye.